Major funding for this program was supplied by the National Science Foundation. crowds. They were outstanding. Hey, you guys were outstanding. Yeah. Okay, we got two and a half hours before the next set, and I want you guys back here to set up. Now, I know King's Island is a big place, but you've only got two hours max, and I mean maximum to do the park. Great. So first I want to go on Amazon Falls, and then I want to hit the vortex at least two times, and then I want to go on the upside down thing and the spinny thing. We've got two to... hours, not two years. How do you expect to do all of that? Walk fast. Yeah, well, I'm going to save the rise till after the next set. I want to go hit some games right now and get to the arcade. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm coming with you. All right. And I bet I win more prizes. Uh, excuse me, but um, why don't you come back to me when you get back on this planet, okay? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, right. <laughs> I said the loser buys the winner a King's Island t-shirt. Fine, and an ice cream cone. Yeah, all right, you're on. Jill, what about you? Earth to Jill. Looking for. I know, during the show, I saw her looking at that guy in the second row, the one in the red shirt. I think it was Galen Thomas. Galen, Galen Thomas? Thomas? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Who's Galen Thomas? Didn't you go to school with that guy? So who is this guy? Galen Thomas, my best friend when we were kids. His family moved away when we were in third grade. Yeah. I remember he had this sheepdog. Angus, that great big sheepdog. This, this dog used to follow us to school every day. <laughs> Never figured out how I could see through all that hair, though. Yeah, but what a great dog. I miss him almost as much as Galen. Are you sure you guys are just friends? I think it was more than that. Give me a break. I was eight years old when he moved. Look, it's not like I don't care about Jill's love life. But I don't. <laughs> We've been yakking for five minutes. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Johnny's right. Do you really think I could find Galen in the park? Doubtful. Park management says they're expecting a sellout crowd today. But, hey, give it a shot. I think I will. And miss the rides? Come on, Jill, go with us. Look, we'll even help you find Galen. Come on, we promise. Okay. okay. Remember, he's wearing a red shirt. All right, sure. Yeah. Oh, and he's got these big, beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> oh, big blue eyes. Bianca, give it a rest. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I want to find the fastest ride and scream my lungs out. Remember, he's wearing a red shirt. Yeah? Excuse me, I just saw the show. I was wondering if I could see Jill. Oh, Galen, right? <laughs> Sorry, you just missed her. But you might catch her if you hurry up, huh? Thanks. looks just like a sheepdog. Just like that Angus. Uh, yeah, but Angus had a lot more hair than that. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you try to win one of those for Jill? Yeah, she'd like that. But, I don't know. Oh, come on, how hard can it be? You toss a quarter on a plate. Better than you think. I mean, just look at the size of those dogs. They must cost mega bucks. The better the prize, the harder it is to win one. Yes. 
Oh, but come on, we've got luck on our side. And I do have one of the greatest arms in creation. So give me a quarter, come on. Not on your life. Look, if anyone's gonna be throwing today, it's gonna be me. That was just a warm up. Look, step aside and let a pro take the field. Thank you. <clears throat> when you showed me, it's harder than it looks. No, it's not hard. It's impossible. It can't be impossible. Eventually, someone has to win. Well, it surely isn't going to be us if we keep going this way. Daddy, I don't want to win a doggy. Okay. Yay! Hey, folks, we have a winner. This little lady just won herself a great big doggy. <laughs> Look, that dog is bigger than she is. I'm not forking over any more money until I figure this game out. Come on, Robert. I mean, we're here to have fun. I'd have a lot more fun if I had won an Angus. All right. Okay, good. Listen, I said we watch for a while. See how... See how 500 tosses go. Are you crazy? Do you know how long that would take? I'm only going to stand here for 20 tosses. Oh, come on. 20 is way too small. And 500 is too big. Okay, okay, okay. We'll compromise. Um... Uh... 100. 100 tosses. Yeah. I've always liked 100. Big round. Friendly. Okay, whatever. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, go. Okay, that's one. Well, that's two. One hundred, okay, stop. Very cool, Robert. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um... <clears throat> Out of 100 tosses, only two coins stayed on the plate. That's very interesting. Whatever you say. No, really, because look, that's only 2%. Two winners out of 100. Exactly. Percent is just another way of saying it. That means that you have a 2% chance of winning because two coins hit. And 98 missed. Out of 100. Well, at least 100 we looked at. What do you mean? Well, maybe the next time you could have people that could have won the game a lot. Right. Or a little. Or maybe even not at all. Get real. So, what does this do for our chances of winning a doggy? Well, one thing, it means we better keep practicing. Get some more quarters. Wish I had all those. Yeah, this game is cleaning up big time. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, anybody can win. 2,000 tosses in an afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gents, an easy 2,000 quarters that spin through the air with the greatest of ease. But it's not all money in the bank, you know? Yeah, they have to buy those dogs. Two dogs won for every 100 tosses. But there's 2,000 tosses in an afternoon. Let's see. If you multiply 100 times 10, that's 1,000 tosses. And you have to do the same thing to the number of prizes. That's 20 prizes for 1,000 tosses. So double that. 40 prizes for an afternoon of 2,000 tosses. Wow, that's major money. 2,000 tosses at 25 cents a shot? That's the same as 1 fourth times 2,000. They'd collect 500 bucks. Yeah, but there's other stuff to pay for, like keeping the games clean. And what about me? They gotta pay me, too. Hey, maybe I ought to ask for a raise. <laughs> Look, the bottom line is, we probably only have two chances of winning. And 98 chances of losing. By the time we won, we would have probably spent enough to buy a dog. I say we try something else. But you said if the game was easier, the prizes wouldn't be so hot. I know, but something is better than nothing.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner, number six, the lady in purple, a guaranteed winner. What would you like? Okay. There you go. You two could win a prize. All you have to do is be the first to get the lion to the top, and you win. A winner every time, guaranteed. All right, this is for me, a winner every time. Yeah, but he didn't say the winner was going to be you. Some of it depends on skill, and some of it depends on luck. Today, we don't seem to be having much of either. Yeah, I know, Bianca, but, but he said a winner guaranteed every time. So there, if there's one, two, three, there's ten players this round, so that means that one person has to win. One ten. That's the same as ten percent. That means we'd have a ten percent chance of winning. Yeah, because if 100 people played, that would mean there'd be 10 guaranteed winners every time. That is better than the 2% it's in the coin toss. Way better if you ask me, but these prizes, I mean, I mean, what are they anyway? Chihuahuas or something? Well, I mean, there's some part of the animal kingdom. Anyway, like I said before, the better the chances of winning, the cheaper the prizes. Yeah, that's true. So, if 10 people win out of every 100, then, money-wise, that's, uh... 25 bucks collected for each 100 players. Thanks a lot. $25? That's the same amount they take in for every 100 pitches at the coin toss. But my prizes are better. But I give out more. Well, they're cheaper than my prizes. That's okay, because I'm better looking. Look at Prizes might be a little bit cheaper, but I'm gonna go ahead and play. Might as well. These costumes are just barely aligned with the rifles and still have time to get back to the show. Well, we could, but I think I'd much rather go on the carousel. The carousel? You can ride that when you're 105. Come on. I hear the hills on the vortex make your stomach fly out of your mouth. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> hey, guys, what's hey, up, man? Hey, guys! Hey! You're hey. just in time to ride the vortex with us, but one of you has to ride with Johnny. He just polished off two hot dogs and three cotton candy. Ugh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just ate all of that, and now you're going to ride the vortex? Uh, yeah. I'm not sitting next to you. You can ride with Frankie. Hey, I got a stomach made of steel. You better have. Did you guys happen to see any traces of Galen? I thought we saw him a couple of times, yeah. but no such luck. Speaking of luck, I guess we never won the games. Hey, yeah! <laughs> Here, Jill, Rob and I won this together. It was supposed to be a sheepdog, but... Thanks, guys. It's so... cute. <laughs> I, I guess it was pretty weird to think I could find Galen in this big crowd, huh? It wasn't weird. I've seen you do weirder things. Thanks. Come on! Let's get in line! It's better than the carousel, Jill. You won't regret it. I promise. We'll see. It better be good. Ooh, it. <laughs>